emergency evacuation plans in Colorado Springs got final approval today from City Council. It's a decision that follows months of opposition from a group of residents on the west side. Yeah, Bill Folsom sat in on the vote, on the debate. He's in studio with more. Bill. Yeah, resident criticism focused on evacuation maps and the impact of growth on evacuation routes. Majority of city council opted to trust the fire chief, police chief, and emergency managers. Now, the community needs to get on board for the plan to work. Emergency managers and residents of Colorado Springs have experience with evacuation, but not all agree on how to do it. A proposed plan for improvement motivated a group of Westside residents to get involved. The proposed ordinance does not address the critical elements of the citizens' concerns. Down to the final vote, they pushed for changes. So I ask that you d delay this um, second vote. And I will be voting against it. One city council member did decide on a no vote. The rest sided with Mayor John Southers, who said he has confidence in the city's public safety leaders. And I will tell you, uh, I'm going to listen to them as to how we ought to proceed. City Council approved the new evacuation ordinance. Now it requires education for the community. There's a new high-tech element called Zone Haven. Each person in our community, in our city, will have a specific zone for their area. When they go to the map and look at that, they'll see listed the roads that they can use to get out of that zone. It's a way to notify residents and identify the best routes away from an emergency. It's new and improved that's working alongside the old personal responsibility. If you're sitting there and you smell smoke and see fire, leave. And the Waldo Canyon area where it was evacuated is a good example of what will be happening. It was an area that went from Fillmore up to South Academy, south of the Air Force Academy, from the mountains all the way down to I-25, one area. Well, the new evacuation area will be divided into multiple evac zones. That means they can evacuate a zone closest to the danger, then add others as necessary.